tussle between Vijay Malia and the banks is not going away anytime soon. Experts now say that while banks have enough legal recourses, they will probably be able to recover only a pittance of what Malia actually owes them. We are tracking that story very closely for you on The Quint. Five people have been arrested for the murder of two Muslim cattle traders in Jharkhand last week. But the issue has spiraled into a political controversy. The opposition has asked for the Prime Minister's intervention and the relatives of the victims have sought revenge. Two NGOs working on animal welfare have announced a reward of 1 lakh rupees for any information that can be provided on the man who was caught on camera for killing one puppy and he injured three dogs at the Green Park metro station over the weekend. Shashi Tharoor has said that people should have the right to form their own ideas and still be tolerant towards other people's opinions in a democracy. Bharat Mata Ki Jai cannot determine nationalism, he said during a speech last night in Jain. We're into the second week of the 2016 World T20 and there are two teams who look sort of ready to make it to the third week of the tournament. West Indies and New Zealand who have both picked two victories each. Of course, later tonight is Australia versus Bangladesh in Bangalore. Both teams, of course, looking for their first victory. Legendary actor Shami Kapoor's biography is out in the stands. It's written by veteran journalist Rof Ahmad. We have done a review of the book. So before you step out and buy the book, read the full review on the Quinn.com. 21st March is a big day for two major tech giants. Twitter celebrates its 10th birthday and Apple is all set to launch their next iPhone. For all those stories and more, log on to the Quint. You can also download the Quint app, which is now available on both Android and iOS.